say, Koloyim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahu Shai. That's what the Bible says, Elzer G. Mess. Honestly, the Akiyam. We shall bless you, brothers and sisters that listen. Go for the lack, man. Brothers and sisters pushing, man. Important never stop. We put that video up. The principal ministry is on the streets. Yeah, it's cool we're doing sit downs. We all do sit downs. But the most high, he wants your body to be on the line. Living sacrifice. He wants you to look like a fool for your hour shot. Because it's comfortable just being in your home. That's easy. What weed a lot of men out is the street ministry, man. Because it gets tiring. You know, sometimes things don't be happening. They're tired of looking like a fool. They'd rather be in the clubs, tricking on hoes, right? Because, yeah, most of the men that come into this are young men. You see what I'm saying? So there's other things your flesh want to do. But that's what make the men of the Lord stand out, man. Nah. Nah. Yeah, you have certain... Of course, we all have needs in the flesh. We men. But the work of Yahweh Bashem El Shah comes first. All right? And that's why this whole, and that's why the Most High is going to reward us for our sacrifice out of one righteous eye. Because we're not the average nigga. We're not the um, um, average imbecile you see walking up and down, man. The scripture talks about 2 Timothy, the third chapter. Okay. Uh, when you read verse, read verse 1 and then jump the floor. Come on. 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, Perilous times shall come. Are we well, we in that time right now. This is the atmosphere of the world right now. The same cloudy, gloomy, dismal, bleak setting. This is the cloud that's over the earth right now, man. Oh, matter of fact, we're gonna get that Matthew 16 and 1 after that. But yeah, we jump to verse 4. Verse 4. Traitors, hi, um, heady, heady, high-minded. Love is a pleasure more than lovers are the most high. That's the point you to get out. That's everybody's mindset, especially in this day and time. Before, people used to have some kind of fear of the most high, even though they didn't know the truth. They knew some kind of fear of the Heavenly Father. Now, everybody's just into their flesh. Yeah. yeah. Social media has made people into monsters, man. Social media has turned women into a straight, proud beast, man. They, they, they mind is lifted up high. And they have crazy standards. When you hear and listen to these different videos, you listen to Eve, you're like, yo, what, what, where you get this from? Oh, man, God making six figures to talk to me and what you bring into the table. Bitch, what you bring into the table? Like some Jake Cup, one of the Eves, he said, what does a man bring to the table? A man is bringing a house. He's bringing a house, someplace for you to stay. He's bringing security. He's bringing money. Right? She's like, what do you bring? And she's like, well, I could decorate that house. He was like, what? She's like, you know, I get the groceries. And he said, look, I get prepaid meals. I can get Amazon. They deliver shit straight to your door. I don't got to go nowhere. That's the time we in now. I get prepaid meals if I don't like to cook. They bring it straight to your door. Right? Um, what else she said? Uh, she said, oh, I cook it. I could clean. He said, listen, I could hire. He said, yo, yeah, he cut the cook part. He said, I get prepaid meals. I get Amazon sent you to my door. He said, my housekeeper, I'll pay about $200 uh, something like that, a week or something to come clean my shit. So technically, what else are you bringing? She could have nothing else to say. All those things you quote unquote bring in, you can get that easy, especially in this day and time. Yeah. There's cleaning companies. I forgot one of them called. There's a famous cleaning company a lot of these people in the city use because people don't clean anymore a lot of these people out here they have a, a cleaning company come clean their shit in their home groceries straight to your door you don't like to cook prepaid meals straight to your door or uber or or whatever seamless or grubhub straight to your door she's supposed to say look i'm gonna be an anchor a support i'm gonna be in your image that's what she should have said whatever you want me to do that's what i'll do that's what i was created to do was to follow you that's what that was the correct answer right nurture your children um uh bring them up the right way and whatever you got going on i'm supposed to support he has a business and he wants you to do x y and z to help him uh build that estate you're supposed to be down with it man or emotional support you're supposed to be down you have a hard day at work you come home pissed off you still know how to soothe that man right support him right boost him when he's down that's what you were supposed to do man 
But now is the other. They want the man to bring everything to the table, and they themselves bring nothing. And they just bring na nagging and yeah. complaining and, and bullshit. And bullshit. You know, the, 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 the man come home angry from work, and now she's angry because he's angry. How you mad? When you talk like they want to go through his phone. They were, these you women, man. Yo, y'all so out of y'all so out of order. It's not even funny, man. Yeah, y'all crazy. About what he's doing yeah. and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to support this man. You know, learn how to be his help. You know, learn how to accept your role as uh, as being um, under your man when he rules over you, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, man. A man ruling over his over his woman. You see, but in this society, he still got everything. You should be say that his turn things upside down, man. Should be esteemed at the pot is clay. This, this man turned everything upside down. There's a new thing on the earth. A woman should go to pass a man. You know, so the, the times that we're approaching, everyone will back. Uh, uh, that that order gonna go back. These women gonna understand that they're not the prize. They're gonna understand. They're gonna have to bring more to the table than just their their their, their, their stink ass. You know. Yeah. That, yeah. That, you gotta bring more than that, man. And, and, and then you women gonna realize too. You are gonna have to fight. Yeah, you gotta fight. See me how we had to fight to please you. How about Shimmy right. Shah? That's right. Your woman gonna have to fight to please a man of the Lord. That's right. That's the only way you're gonna get out of here. You're gonna have yeah. to fight. Nothing's gonna be handed to you. Right? You want a man of the Lord, you gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to bring something to the table. If not, just get left behind. That's all. Right, most most of you gonna get left behind. Because you're damaged goods. You're you're far, you can't you can't we can't work with that. Mm. Your mind is already gone, man. Thanks to Esau and his feminism. But above all, it's like we always say, it goes back to the marriage I had from the beginning. Right? You made a deal with you made a deal with Esau from the beginning, the serpent. And in return he gave you power. And and the most I had to check you in the garden and say, No, until the thy Zion shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee, man. But like the scripture is saying in 2 Timothy 3 and 4, let's read it again. Gone. 2 Timothy 3 and 4. Traitors, I'm hiding. And you see, well, you see that with men in the truth. Reality TV shows, them guys is heady, man. Heady. Like, head is we at the door to salvation. You supposed to be trimming your lamb. We gonna get at Matthew 25 after Matthew 16. You supposed to be trimming your lamb, mean cutting things off. All right. Because we all have eleven in us that the Most High wants you to purge. Okay. That's all. What you think the whole point of the grace period is, man? The grace period is really for the elect. It's to seal the elect and for the elect to work on themselves so they could be a perfect bride. That's what, that's what the Lord gave us grace. He didn't give you grace for you to get this knowledge and become heady and high-minded. That's not, that's not the grace period for, man. We'll be heady and high-minded when we empower, when we're perfect, man. That's when we're going to boast. Okay? Then, then we have a reason to be prideful because we got in the victory. Yeah. See, that humility going to be thrown out the door. We're we not going to be, yeah, we're not going to be hum humble with none of these nations, these heathens Ooh. being wisdom. They're going to see, they really going to see racism. Yeah. You know? We're going to let them know. Yeah, that you know we're way saying? better than way them, Way better. Man. All right? Our kids going to grow up doing that. You know, our kids going to grow up flying over these heathens. Yeah, we're you not going to be smiling and in Pat New Nation. It's going to be a whole nother zone, man. Yeah, that's right. Like we said, it's going to be true racism, man. Yeah. Say me how the Heavenly Father feel about you nations. That's exactly how we're going to be, man. All right? Right now, we're in captivity. So the Lord wants you to what? Be wise. But guys is what? Heady. You're reading it right now. They're high-minded, man. And we read further on. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the Heavenly Father. And that's the state of man on the planet Earth, man. Everybody is all about themselves, man. What about the creator, man? What about him, man? But when all hell break loose, people know how to flip that switch. We see 9-11 documentaries, devils who said they never prayed before. When that them planes, when them towers, motherfuckers was praying. One woman said she she's an atheist, but when that plane hit, she said she was praying from the 34th floor. <laughs> she wasn't even on the high floor. She was on the 34th floor. She said she was praying from the 34th floor all the way down to she got out the building, man. You see, that's how that's the most high right there, man. And he's about to do, he's about to do wonders on this earth. And we, and we, we yeah. bring it. Everyone gonna know. It's yeah, it's him, father, man. They gonna know it's the word to the most high. People man. ain't gonna be like Jesus did it. No, they gonna know Yahweh about Shem Yahweh did it. Right. All right, he's about to open up. And who's on his hit list? 
America, Babylon. That's what we're going to read Matthew 16 and 1. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 1. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempted and desired him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is even, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you, you can't discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the times? You can't discern the signs of the times? But you say you can tell when it's about to rain because the clouds is heavy. See, like we say, you can see the, 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 the this, this, not, this, how it is I here today is exactly how the, the, what's over the earth, man. You see, it's that, 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 that little calm before the storm, but, yeah. but you can see the weather's changing, man. Yep, yep. And we know when fall time comes, how the woman, he already told you what type of spread he gonna be in. He's not playing games. He already said, he already said, September 13th, September 21st, October 7th. He let you know, fall time, we ain't gonna be in a different spirit. I call it Camellia Harris. Like we said, people have their little freedoms. This is the very last, right? And we told people he was gonna do that. Open it back up. Last year was just a trial, the lockdowns. They realized the majority of people fell for it, some didn't. Okay, as oh, open back up, celebration. Maxine locking back things back down again. Oh, we giving incentives to get X, Y, and Z. Now he mandating it. F all that. You don't take it, you're gonna be out of a job. Can't take it, you're not you're not gonna be a member in society. Can't take it, we're gonna put your ass in the camp. That's next. And we know simultaneously MOB gonna be there. And that's game over. And that's what we waiting for. There, there's gonna be a lot of things happening, but that's the main thing we watching for. Alright? We watching for him. Because they mentioned it last year, and brothers did a video on it. That thing that put inside your body, we could tell if you got it or not. And and he started picking up on that. And he, anytime you do, you put that in any title, he takes the video down because that's that's coming right after. And people was putting those theories online: Bill Gates and the MOB, this that. And, so he's seen that. So now he see what, what way can we do to introduce it to the people? Because people already up on game already. That's next. And they have all kind of literature telling you that that was their ultimate goal, man. Because why? That's complete control over you, man. Okay? Which is the NWO. He has a God, um, Aisha has a God complex. He wants to be the most high. He wants to bring, he wants, he wants, he wants to be your master forever. He wants to yeah. bring you with that digital O. Yeah. You know, like the apostles to um, Tahara bringing out, you know. They about to, they about to introduce a digital O, man. You see, when they brand, they're gonna brand you because they want to be a master forever, man. You know, they want they want you to be their slaves forever. You see, and those that take that, y'all through, man. Yeah, a lot of you took Maxine, like we said. Take, 